slide back on another video. I'm ready. I'm good. God, Dan Shapiro, famous moments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, like his videos. Pretty cool, dude. Yeah, I do like his videos. Okay. Try to know. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Please try to reach 200K. Let's get a video. Joining me now in the audience, Shagun Odu Olowu, entertainment journalist, Zoe Tur, pilot and reporter so who herself is transgender, and Ben Shapiro, senior editor, Breitbart News, author of Bullies. Ben, did she deserve this award? For what? Oh. For courageously coming forward, for having been an athlete of great prowess, and now fighting a new battle. Uh, what exactly is the battle? I mean, self-definition is what you do, and my baby's doing it 18 months old. I wasn't aware that you get a medal for it. To come out transgender is horribly difficult. It is the most difficult thing you can do. I've been overseas. I've flown uh, helicopter missions, surveillance missions. I've been shot, stabbed. Being brave is being yourself. And being transgender is it's about the bravest thing you can do. Did she deserve the award? Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? It's not delusion. Why, why not would delusion. you call it delusion? Because... Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. It, okay, forget about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It, he just Ben is just he, he's something else. Like uh, him, Caitlyn Jenner. No, it's that's her. Him. You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. Okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male, with the exception of some of. His sperm cells. You it turns out that his sperm cells are male. Wait, I need it to. It turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But, but, How he feels on the inside is irrelevant but, to the question of his biological sex. I don't I mean, agree with that. I'm not on that train. <laughs> I'm not on that train. <laughs> she she wants to be called she. I'm going to call her she. I just have a problem with the message and the messenger. Zoe, well, let's let's now let's. I'm going to do two things. I want to re reiterate what Zoe said, which is the bifurcation of the courage to come forward after a lifetime as a male and a certain kind of a male versus wow. did she deserve this it's award. Wow. Listen, awards, what are award ceremonies except Don't an man. opportunity to catch some eyes. Especially and, the ESPN. So, uh, yeah. it's like <laughs> ESPN, well, well done, ABC. Yeah. They man, listen, I say it all the time. If it's, if it's somebody in a gas station, like I don't even be trying to be rude or nothing like that. It's just what I, what I was like, you know, taught growing up, like you're a man and my mom is a woman. Like, I see somebody in the gas station, this, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying a person that's, you know, feminine, you know what I'm saying, ain't gonna say the word, y'all know how YouTube is, or if they have trans, you know what I'm saying, and they do so, I appreciate you, bro, I'm, what, I don't, I, me, yeah, me personally, it's ma'am, yeah, facts, I'm not about to sit there and be like, appreciate it, ma'am, or thank you, ma'am, you know what I'm saying, I would say what I see is what I see, and that's what's going on. With my man, if I see a man and that look like a man, I'm gonna say, "All right, bro." I'm not about it. to fix myself to call you whatever you want to be called. Yeah. When, when I see it for what it is, then I'm gonna say whatever I feel. You catch some eyes, especially the ESPN. So, uh, yeah, it's like ESPN. Well, well done, ABC. Yeah. They did exactly what their job was: to attract eyes. They did it. That's what award ceremonies are for. But. In terms of the science behind gender uh, dysphoria, you, you're very familiar with that. So very it's, familiar. It, it's not about the chromosome. Excuse me, the chromosomes within we our both know nuclei. That yeah, chromosomes go ahead. Chromosomes don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. With gender. Gender of identity. Go ahead. Now, so Especially, what, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss it? Keep the hand. I must say one of these. Out of us. Hey man, listen. Move that, man. <laughs> man. All right, I don't even want nobody. I, don't, I already don't want nobody touching me. You know what I'm saying? Move that hand, bro. <laughs> I'm saying. Genetics. Well, well, no, what no. Are no. Your genetics. I, I, so let's stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. <laughs> you cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, I know. Well, yeah. but wait. To be fair, but. Yeah, I'd probably. She, she he would probably have to cut, <laughs> catch a bullet, cause, cause see them arms. <laughs> yes. That's what is that? Miss Doubtfire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's God. serious. But to be you fair, are, but to be you fair, you are, but to be you fair you're being, actually being hey kind guys, of rude. You're and, no, 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 and, and no, that's no, no. not fair. I'm sorry, it's not rude to say that someone who is biologically <laughs> a male sir. is a male. You just someone who is biologically sir. male is a male. But Mr. So. Shapiro, you know you knew very well that saying that to Zoe would be 
would be egregiously insulting. It's not a matter of insulting or inflammatory. It is. No, sir, Dr. Sir, sir, you're right. On on the on paper, what is a fact is a fact, and I I can't deny that. But you knew that going in that that to saying that to Zoe would be aggressively insulting. It's a matter of aggressively insulting. It is. The entire discussion is whether we are embracing mental illness and delusion as a society. That's the entire discussion. No, but you don't have that. But Ben Shapiro is editor at large at Breitbart.com and the author of Bullies, How a Less Culture of Fear and Intimidation Silences Americans. So why am I off the rails, Mr. Shapiro? Uh, you know, honestly, well, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show, um, and I've seen it repeatedly, what you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. If they cared more about the dead kids, they would agree with you on policy. I think we can have a rational political conversation about balancing rights and risks and rewards of all of these different policies, but I don't think that what we need to do is demonize people on the other side as, as being unfeeling about, the, about what happened in How Sandy How dare Hook. you accuse me of standing on the graves of the children that died there? How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. <laughs> what you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that if they disagree with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I'd really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that. that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. I've made it very clear what I want to do, which is exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address, okay, so your, let's talk about that. Rather than address your comments to me about uh, standing on the grave. I feel like a lot of people, the wrong people, the wrong people. And it's kind of crazy because I can't even really say like, you get it kind of because you can't you can get a gun fast you can get a gun from it quick type yeah. you can definitely get a gun from it quick but it's just like even though it's still people that don't even you know it's felons that aren't supposed to have guns they can get it still, easily yeah, yeah. Right. graves of children at sandy hook you can address them to mark kelly because he agrees with everything that i've been saying because he feels the same way the as the does his wife the gun owners, sandy sandy hook. they both yeah. respect right, the right. second amendment of the constitution they don't want to take away anybody's right to defend themselves with guns. Well, they, they want to take away certain types of guns, obviously. They want to take away assault weapons, which are capable with magazines that like we saw at Aurora and Sandy Hook, of unleashing uh, a ridiculous amount of bullets. Well, this is a question I wanted to ask you, Pierce, because I've, I've seen you talk about assault weapons a lot, and I've seen Mark Kelly talk about assault weapons. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of murders in this country that are committed with mm -hmm. guns are not committed with assault weapons, they're committed with handguns. Okay, so this, are you this, willing to ban handguns in no, this country across no, the country? No, that's not what I'm asking for. Why not? Let me ask you... Don't you care about the kids who are being killed in Chicago as much as the kids in Sandy Hook? Yes, I do. Yeah, because I, I, I know that uh, a lot of times, uh, especially with handguns, um, switches and stuff on them, uh, those are used more than, you know, and I'm not trying to justify anything. It's just the fact of, you know, uh, when it's a, a mass shooting or anything like yeah. that, that's when they use the ARs and stuff like that and other weapons. But then again, every day we see they use using, they're using handguns. Yeah. Then why don't you care about, about banning the handguns in Chicago? I wanted to share with you. According to this. Pew Research, oh, yeah. the net worth of white families in 2013 was 141000 for black families, it was 11,000, even less than the 19,000 it was in 2007. According to economist Edward Wolf of the University of New York, excluding vehicles and other durables, the median black family worth is just $1,700, while 40% of black families have zero or negative wealth. White family worth, in terms of uh, financial worth, is 69 times more than that of black families. Given this disparity, how can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. When he said this, it, it kind of made me think, like, dang, like... I don't know. I don't know, Ben, like when he first said it, like, but then I got to thinking, it's not a race thing, it's a culture thing. So it's not because you black, it's because of how you grew up. Yeah. The, 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 uh, the uh, product, you know what I'm saying, being a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. So 
how how I grew up, you know what I'm saying, the neighborhood I grew up. Oh, okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying, uh, shooting to be this successful YouTuber and can provide for my family and making, you know, uh, having deals and doing this and doing that, you know, and uh, even when I did have a job before YouTube uh, with, you know, just, you know, providing. Uh, and then I have a buddy that on this side of town or a family member mm -hmm. or where they growing up and all they know mm -hmm. is, you know what I'm saying, yeah. uh, we got beef with him. We got... Oh, so and, and they barely, you know what I'm saying, in school and so it's it's yeah, really yeah. More, more so of that. So I can I can see what he's saying. I definitely no, explain I definitely me why thirteen percent of the population is responsible for fifty percent of the murder. Explain to me why the why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement had See, and usually somebody would jump in and say something. These, these two right here, they say exactly. It's made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. They just looked at sitting, it. just sitting. And I feel like that, that right there was, was an amazing video. Yeah, I like that video. Um, it, it, and a lot of times, it's, it's more so of you got to know the real. It's, it's, it's better to, you know, to, to, to get that. Yeah, to know it. Yeah, I facts. Know it. Um, but definitely appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this reaction. Make sure y'all comment more of Ben's videos. Definitely going to check out more. Definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button if y'all could. Trying to reach 200K. Slowly getting there, you feel me? Um, just creeping up on 198. So definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, subscribing, liking, commenting every day. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, catch y'all next time.